Hi everyone, I'm Glenn. I'll be your instructor for Art 490 Artists' Websites. So, there's a woman riding a horse through the forest, and after a time, she comes across a tree, or she's surrounded by trees, but she comes across one that has a bullseye painted on it, and dead in the center of that bullseye is an arrow. She's impressed keeps riding. A while later, as she moves through the forest, she comes across another tree that has a target painted on it. And again, there's an arrow perfectly in the center of that target. That's pretty interesting. She continues to ride through the forest and starts to approach a village. So the trees start to thin out a little bit. And as they do, she starts to see more and more trees with targets painted on them. And every tree has a perfect bullseye. There's an arrow dead in the center of every target, which is just amazing. So when she finally exits the forest and reaches this village, she meets some townspeople and she immediately asks, who is your village marksman? And the town people are confused and they say, we have no village marksman. And she says, well, if you have no village marksman, then who shot all those arrows I saw in the forest, every arrow perfectly in the center of every target. And the townspeople say, oh, you want the village idiot. And so she says, take me to the village idiot. So she goes and she meets the village idiot. And she says, she asks him, how is it that you became such an incredible marksman? Perfect shot every time. And the village idiot laughs and says, oh, it's easy. I just shoot first, and then I paint the target. Okay, so that joke, or that slightly cheesy joke, is probably the most important thing I have to share with you this semester. This is the second year of, of this Artists' Websites class. Uh, I taught four sections of it last year. And last year, I thought the class would be a lot about which platform to choose and, and the aesthetics of your site. And those things, of course, matter. But what I learned is that focusing your website, focusing your content, was what really matters. And so if we think about the village idiot, uh, those arrows are the people you want to reach with your website. Uh, the curator at the gallery you'd like to exhibit in, the HR director at the animation studio you'd like to work for, the uh, potential client that you'd like to be the photographer for their wedding, or you'd like to design the new identity system for them. So, you know, whatever you're looking for, it might be gallery art, it might be commercial art, you, you could have many different goals, but you need to pick something, and that arrow is your goal. And the target is your website. So if we do things the old way, if we paint the target first, you know, the sort of the, the traditional or the obvious way, we paint the target first, we build the website first, and then we shoot the arrow, then we hope that this curator, HR director, client, whatever it might be, we hope that they find a connection with our website. That's kind of tough. But if we flip that around, if we, if we take advantage of the wisdom of the village idiot, if we shoot the arrow first, if we pick who this person is that we're trying to communicate with, and then paint the target, then build the website that leads directly to that arrow, then just like the village idiot, we can have a much better chance of having a perfect connection. So that's probably your main mission. The first week, I will ask everyone, we'll do a kind of a modification of you know, the old go around the room and introduce yourself. The first week, I will ask you to tell us what your goal is with your website, with your career. Um, I'm not holding that, I'm not holding that you to that. It's not set in stone. You can change your focus next week, next month, next year, next decade. What I am asking you is that for as long as that is your primary focus, whatever it might be, 
that you try to create materials that make that connection. So the first week we'll try to focus and again change it if you want anywhere down the road but as long as it's operational for you let's try to build something that speaks to that. And then the second week we'll create something called a viewer profile. This is where you create uh, a fictitious person, a fictitious person but one who has you know real world counterparts and implications. So I might create this person Jennifer who is the curator at a gallery in Los Angeles that I'd like to show my um, social justice performance art in. Or I might create a Jennifer who is um, the HR director at an animation studio where I'd like to get hired. Or you know maybe Jennifer is getting married and I'd like to be the wedding photographer. Or maybe she's launching uh, a new business and I'd like to design her identity system. So your goal can, as I've said, be whatever you want, gallery art, commercial art, anything. Uh, but in the second week, we'll create these viewer profiles that are what you imagine this, this person who your website is for, this arrow that you're aiming your target toward. Um, and you'll kind of write you know, who they are, where they went to school, what their, what their position is, what their aesthetic is, and maybe a little bit about what they do in their spare time. So that you've got a picture of someone. So as in the subsequent weeks, you are uh, writing about yourself and your work, doing photography of yourself and your work, and then finally putting all that together in a website that presents yourself and your work. You can constantly be thinking, you know, does this connect with Jennifer? Is it clear? Is it concise? Is it compelling? Is it really going to be something? that makes a connection between my work and this person I'm interested in having see that work? Or is it confusing? Is it another direction? Is it not what I want? Um, a lot of you have probably done many things in your time at the School of Art and so you may want to show many things and you can have additional pages that focus on other things but your, your first big job is really to, to take that wisdom of the village idiot, pick what where the arrow is going to be, what, what your Jennifer uh, is going to you know, be, whether she's a curator, an HR director, or some, you know, a client, or anything else. And then when you have that, then, like the village idiot, build that target, build that website that leads directly to where you want to be. So that's our goal. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting everyone this week on either Monday or Wednesday. And I'll send some more info online. But um, hoping to have a great semester, hoping to help you build websites that really achieve communication goals for you. See you in class.